Hi, a lot of people, including us, are looking for a talent management model, but so far, no one has developed such a model yet. In this bite, I will introduce the HR talent management model you can use in order to get the most out of your employees. Stay tuned. Initially developed for marketing purposes, this model shows how customers first get in touch with an organization and eventually end up buying something from that organization. This happens in five phases. Let's go through all of them individually and then I'll explain how the model can be applied to HR. One. Acquisition. This is all about driving visitors to the organization. Two, activation. This is the first value experience that is exchanged between the organization and the customer. This can be a customer that leaves their email address in exchange for a monthly newsletter, for example, or customer walking into a brick and mortar shop. Three, revenue. The first and most important of the R's. Revenue is about getting customers to make a purchasing decision. Needless to say, this is the lifeblood of any business. Four, Referral. Referral is about how to get customers to share others about your organization and your product or service. It is about customers generating more customers. Finally, five, retention. How do you retain those buying customers so they come back and buy again? This is about increasing the lifetime value of the customer. Of course, now I could tell you a lot about how useful this model is and how different media channels can be used to acquire and activate customers, encourage them to make purchasing decisions, etc. The big question, however, is how can we apply this model to HR? When we need to create a talent management model, the marketing model I just described works as a perfect template. Employees are very similar to customers and they go through the exact same process. Let's take a closer look. This is the HR talent management model. Let me walk you through the five steps that every employee goes through in this talent management model. One, acquisition. Acquisition is all about attracting potential candidates to your organization. In the recruitment world, this is referred to as employer branding. Key questions to be answered in this phase are, how will your candidate get to know you? How will you increase your employer branding so that people will want to work for you? How do you make sure that you are approachable as a company so you can convert the people that know you into people that will want to apply? These are fundamental questions that you need to answer whenever you're serious about becoming a better employer. Two, activation. Activation is about selection, candidate experience, and getting people onboarded. It's about the organization getting value from employees and employees getting value from the organization. Key questions to be answered in this phase are, how will you select the right people from the talent pool that you've built? How do you make the right selection to avoid bad hires? How will you make sure to create a near perfect candidate experience? These are the questions you need to answer in order to make sure that you can hire the best people in the market and that the people that you decide not to hire go home feeling good. Three, Revenue. Revenue is about getting the most value out of your people as an organization. Usually, this is done by investing in them, giving them all the tools they need to do their work and making sure that they deliver the best possible value or work. This includes topics like onboarding, learning and development, and performance management. Key questions to be answered in this phase are, how do you make sure people are onboarded faster? How will you reduce your new hires time to full productivity? How will you make sure that your people stay competitive and keep performing in the future? Phase four, referral. Referral is about getting new people by leveraging your current employees and about building your reputation. This can be to attract new employees or to leverage your employees to expand your customer base. This is useful because as you may know, employee referral programs are very much in fashion. Employees who are referred usually onboard faster, perform better, and are less likely to leave prematurely. Key questions to be answered in this phase are, how do we create an effective employee referral program? How can we make our employees champion our brand? How do we leverage our employees to expand our customer base? Phase five, retention. Just like you want to retain your customers, you want to retain your employees. If your talent thinks your organization is undesirable to work for, you have a big problem. As HR, you therefore invest in the retention of your talent. Key topics here include retention, happiness, and compensation and benefits. The questions you should ask yourself in this phase are, how will you reduce your voluntary turnover percentage? How will you compensate your employees to ensure that they're happy? How will you use variable pay to make sure your salespeople perform optimally? 
Retention is about doing everything to keep your best performers and help to build a competitive advantage. If your best employees never leave, you will outperform your competition. To wrap this up, this talent management model helps you to visualize the five key phases that employees go through during the time they work at your organization. The model helps to create a better employee experience and it provides a framework for your talent management initiatives. I would like to challenge you to apply this framework to the current talent management practices in your organization. Identify room for improvement and come up with specific solutions that will benefit the way you manage talent. That's it for today's Byte in which you've learned what the AARRR model is and what its stages are and how this model can be leveraged for talent management. If you're interested in finding out more about this talent management model, check out the link in our description. Remember to stay up to date with our Learning Bytes by subscribing to our channels. And if you like this video, make sure you like and share it. And I'll see you soon in our next Learning Bytes.